Hello and welcome to this quick start guide for CI40. There's a written version of the quick start guide over on docs.creatordev.io under CI40 quick start guide. We'll link to that in the description if you'd prefer to follow that than to watch this video. Let's get started. My CI40 is already connected to power. I'm simply using the micro USB cable supplied in the box and connecting that to my PC. There are two micro USB ports on the board. The one next to the reset button and power connector is the one you want to be using. It'll be obvious because the LEDs will come on. CI40 will broadcast its own Wi-Fi network when you first connect it to power. You'll be able to see that here under Creator AP. That'll be its SSID, there's no encryption. So what we're going to do is connect to that and then SSH into the board. The command you need to SSH in is just SSH root at the IP address, which is 10.10.10.1. If you're using Windows or Mac, there are plenty of SSH clients out there or just terminals that will allow you to do a very similar thing. All you need to know is that the username is root and the IP address is 10.10.10.1. It'll then ask you to confirm that this is a device you definitely want to connect to. I'm going to say yes. And there we are, we're connected to the terminal. You can see OpenWRT information there. You can see your version number. I've got 0 0.9.4 here. The next thing I'm going to do is to connect the board to Wi-Fi. This is pretty easy in the terminal. I'm just going to use Vi to go to etc. Config Wireless and press Return. I'm not going to go to too much detail about this file. There's a lot you can do here, and we'll link to the proper OpenWRT documentation for this file um, so you can do more advanced things using that. For the purposes of this quick start guide, I'm just going to very quickly add a Wi Fi network to this. What I'm going to do is copy this configuration here and simply paste it below and then change it. The configuration I just copied is the soft AP configuration. You can see here the SSID is creator AP. So you can change all the details here, you can add encryption and everything that you would like to. I would recommend you don't disable this yet in case this configuration doesn't work um, when you set up your Wi-Fi, because if it doesn't, you'd then have disabled soft AP and you'd have to use an ethernet cable or serial to talk to the board again. So what I'm gonna do here is change this. I'm just going to remove AP from there. I'm gonna replace AP in the network with STA so that I'm a client rather than an access point and I'm going to connect to a network I've got here. So you need to enter your own SSID into this. Encryption type is the complicated one here. If you have a standard WPA2 router, which most modern routers are, PSK2 will work for this. If you have an older router, or if you have routers that maybe have TKIP or AES and things like that, then you'll have to look through the documentation that we're linking to for OpenWRT to look up what you should type into the encryption field here. For most people, it will be PSK2. The only other thing you need to add is the password, which I have made demo pass for the purposes of this video. And I'm going to write that file. And the other thing I need to do is edit etc. config network. In this file, there's a default root option with un under the STA interface, and I'm going to comment that line out. At the moment, that just means it won't use the wireless as its main route to the internet. So I'm going to comment that out and write that file. Now I've made those changes, I'm going to reset the wireless. This is obviously not too clever on SSH because I'm going to lose my network connection to the board when I do this. That's the wrong thing to type. And network is the one I want to restart. I'm just going to do etc. init.d network restart, and that's going to kick our init script for the network again. So when you do this over SSH, you'll lose connection, and you'll have to wait for a few seconds for it to come back. Hopefully it won't drop you off the network, but that may depend on your client. And there we go. So if, if I run ifconfig now, I'll be able to see that I've got WLAN 0 here, and this is my IP address on the router I've just connected to. And I've also got WLAN 0 1 here, 
which is my soft AP. So soft AP is still running, but I'm also connected to this network. So I should just be able to ping out. And that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you'd like more information, then feel free to check out our docs at docs.creatordev.io. If you have questions, then you can leave those at forum.creatordev.io and we'll try to get back to you as quickly as we can. And if you've got suggestions for more videos, again, leave those on the forum and I'll try to make those for you. So thanks very much for watching.